New this morning, Chicago Board of Education could remove all student resource officers in a vote today, but now some Chicago public schools are pushing back. CBS News Marissa Perlman live outside of the Board of Education, where they're going to be probably rowdy today uh, with what we right. think we're going to hear at that board meeting. Uh, good morning to you, Marissa. Brad, good morning to you. Yeah, there's a lot of opinions on both sides of this issue, something we've been hearing about for months now. You said it, a pretty rowdy crowd here outside of the Board of Education office. That meeting about to get underway here any minute now. They will be considering a safety plan calling for CPS to end its school resource officer program by 2025. Ending the program, students and organizers here say they're passionate about. So interesting perspective here. Students outside of Board of Education calling for no more cops. The agreement between CPS and the police department is worth $10.3 million, and that will be on the line today. Now, those who oppose SROs in schools say students arrested on campus often end up in the criminal justice system for in-school incidents. Now, if you remember, as a candidate, Mayor Brandon Johnson supported removing police officers from schools. We are demanding that the money be reinvested and reallocated towards restorative justice tactics that do not criminalize or, puni uh, or subject our students to harsh punishments. We demand increased investment in the education system, the removal of all police officers from our schools, redirecting those funds back to our schools, and the end to the destructive school to prison pipeline. We've also heard from passionate students about this issue. Now, some community members, some other parents say they want to keep their school resource officers, hoping this will bridge the gap between police and youth in our community. They believe safety decisions should rest within their own local school councils. Now, as it stands right now, there are only 39 high schools that still have school resource officers in their building. Right now, public comment about to get underway inside will bring you the latest when this vote happens throughout the morning. For now, Brad, back to you. Marissa Perlman, thank you. Now